Breaking news, everyday news on Prince Emil Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow. Today is the 17th of May, 2022. So, guys, uh, some local manufactured basic commodities are running out at show shops, raising fears of a repeat of the 2008 scenario when supermarket shelves were virtually empty. Some supermarkets are reportedly limiting the number of commodities, such as cooking oil, per customer to prevent hoarding, which should result in an artificial shortage of the product. Product. On May 7, uh, 2022, President Emerson Nangagwa ordered banks to suspend lending uh, to corporates and individuals, including the manufacturing sector. The move is believed to have triggered the current shortages of cooking oil and millimeal, among other basic commodities. Speaking in an interview with Newsday, Consumer Council of Zimbabwe, uh, CCZ Executive Director Rosemary Mpof said they were monitoring the situation. Mpof said we are in constant engagement with the suppliers of goods to check what could be the cause of the shortages we are conducting as a vial to come up with a true picture of the situation throughout the country it could just be an issue uh, with some particular shops which could be different from the situation obtaining countrywide on Monday, a uh, survival outcome will then explain the issues at hand. Confederation of Zimbabwe Industries President Kurai Macheza said that the failure of the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe's foreign currency auction system resulted in the industry failing to access US dollars uh, to buy critical raw materials. Macheza says uh, we import crude oil from Brazil, so we need foreign currency, but the auction has been failing to give manufacturers sufficient US dollars to be able to import on the issue of millimil shortage it has something to do with the fact that the government stopped millers from buying except the grain marketing board gmb which created bottlenecks in the supply chain it depends on how the government will act the policies put in place will determine whether the solution gets back to normal or not yes i know my policies are not going to remain dead and uh, some of the policies are not favorable uh, for manufacturers that's why i took on a situation with a change at the moment although the government lifted that ban on lending we hope and pray that the situation gets better and otherwise uh 2008 whereby uh my food and my shops mingam sisina and again, it's a coma because last year I don't and Saga you know, we expect the government to do something regarding to the food security. And so, this is our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. We we'll keep you guys in the loop, packet any new information. But uh, some shops are uh, some of the basic commodities that we do need uh, so it will create again a space for other entrepreneurs who wants to go and import uh, those basic commodities which the government have said uh, is now duty free there are 16 commodities that you can go and import whether from South Africa Zambia Mozambique and uh, duty free who are transported and one who doesn't go where water marry and this will go on for six months six good months from now and uh, so this is our daily news breaking news everyday news on prince mila and the tv that's okay that's okay that's okay whereby channel to move up with me some of the but more road my father and the worries were everywhere go on a chit my father go on a little my father and i don't go ahead to look in the pile and price about that you will be at okay that's okay I think that's a serum seven dollars. I think that maybe nine dollars or ten dollars. So uh, not all of us can afford to buy, uh, you know, such a commodity at that price because no one can buy that And yeah, so this is our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. We keep you in the loop here. Remember to like, share, comment, and follow. And also our new website is a Prince Miller Entertainment Channel dot com. Just go and look for it. Thank you once again for listening, watching, and subscribing daily news breaking news on prince miller entertainment tv Sinister.